This is question 9 from the 2019 Ordinary Level Leave Insert paper. You can find a link to the image of this question in the description below if you do not have it already. This is a section B question, so as you can see there's a lot of writing in it, you have to figure out a lot of things. Please do not get too afraid, it is not too difficult if you take it one step at a time. And what you really need in these questions is practice, practice, practice. So hopefully that's why you're here. So they give us this equation here, UM. Now just so you know what that means, they, that means user monthly. So we sometimes tend to use this. In general maths, we might just use F and X, but in real life things, we try and use letters that make a bit more sense. U is for user in this case, and M is for months. So if we change M, the number of users change. So they tell us that the users in any month is estimated by this formula, 3000 multiplied by 1.8 to the power of m. And then they're gonna ask us questions mostly about this equation. Okay, so part A asks us, use the, formula to est use the formula to estimate the number of register users after eight months. So the users after eight months, users after months, users after eight months, that's what they're asking us. Just replace the M with an 8 and write everything out the same. 1.8 to the power of, replace the M with an 8. Right, this is a job for a calculator. Do not worry, you do not have to do this yourself. Just type all this in, 3000 multiplied by 1.8 to the power of 8. Do it twice, make sure you don't make a mistake. And we get uh, 33,000, uh, 300, 330,000. 598.82 they asked they didn't ask to round it off but they said find the number of users this does not exist as a person so they, they will dock a mark for this they would like to see you round this off so this is closest to 599 or 598 is okay as well because it's a real person and we can't go up to a real person we can't add on 598 is okay, 599 I rather, it's because it's only an estimate to begin with. So I think 599 would be more appropriate. Okay, part B, they tell us there are 31,000, let me write that down, 31,493 registered users at the end of a particular month. Estimate how many users there will be one month later. This is a fantastic question. Lots of people get this wrong or lots of people try and do a hard amount of work. Let me show you the hard way that you might do this. You might ask yourself, ah, this is how many users, I wonder what month I'm in. So you could solve this, you could put this equal to um, 3000, 1.8 to the power of M, and you could try and solve for M. Or maybe you could just test in your calculator a few different things. I'm, I'm not sure what the answer is. I think it might come up at about, um, about three, maybe four, I think you might find out that M is four. So one month later, M is five. And you put five back in and solve it. But you don't need to do any of that. Let me put a line through that. Because you, you, what they're asking you, they're hoping that you recognize that this is the, a geometric, geometric equation. So our formula for geometric equation is Tn is equal to A or and to the power of n minus 1. So they're asking us to recognize this. And this looks a lot like this. A would be 3000. Or would be 1.8. n minus 1 will replace with m. That's a little hazy there. But what they want to realize, what they want you to realize is when m is 1, we multiply by 1.8. When m is 2, we multiply by 1.8 twice. When m is 3, multiply by 1.8, multiply by 1.8, multiply by 1.8. It stays going up every month by 1.8. It's a geometric equation. You don't need to use this or anything. All you need to do to solve this question is to notice that every month, this is the month they gave us, every month, the next month will be 1.8 bigger. So the sim simply, you need to get the answer from this is equal to... 56,687. That's how many users. Again, these are rounded off. Um, yeah, these are rounded off to the nearest person. Okay, so that's what you needed to notice, that this was just 1.8 every month. The next month, 
another 1.8 multiplied by this will give you that much. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll rub these out because part C is a bit bigger. Okay, C part one asks us how, how much would she earn in a month when there were 600,000 registered users? And they also tell us that she earns 0 0.0012, um, is that, the, yeah, sorry, euro. So this is all euro for every user every month. Okay, so that's uh, less than one penny. One penny would be a one here. So it's 0 0.12 of a cent. Right, so how much would she earn in a month if there was 600,000 users? Well, she gets this much for every user. So we simply have to do 600,000 multiplied by 0 0.0012. And that equals, just put it into a calculator, that will equal 720 euro. That's how much she'll earn in a month where 600,000 people is on her site. Okay, so not much, but, well, a nice little bit of money, but for every user, not much. Okay, so part two tells us that she actually, tells us what she earns. So let's see, she earns 1,285.37. So it tells us, it tells us this part of the equation. So actually, let me change this up a little bit. It tells me this part of the answer. So it tells me one, two, uh, I have to look again, sorry, one, two, eight, five, point three seven we know how much how much how much each she gets for each user all we're missing is how many users there are we need to find that so let's just put an x in when we don't know something we like to put an x in it helps us rearrange the equation so i just need to solve this for x and um, that would be x is equal divide both sides by this so it's equal one point, uh, sorry, one two eight five point three seven, and if we divide both sides, this will disappear on the left. Divide the left, it will disappear. Divide the right, let's just put it in. One two, and we put that into a calculator once more, and we find that the answer is one million, one million um, seventy one thousand one hundred and forty two. Again, this is rounded off. Round it up to the nearest number here. Um, or you can, they will let you round down when it comes to people, that's fine. Okay, um, but this is the closest number of people the estimate would have us. Actually, you know what, maybe they wouldn't allow us here because we know the exact number, uh, how much money she earns. And um, so it tells us that it's actually 41.67. We can't have that many people though, but I guess we're not allowed to create a half a per or one third of a person. So maybe the correct answer, I'll have to look at the marking scheme um, or have a look at your marking scheme yourself. You tell me if I'm right or wrong. I think that might be the, the correct answer, but I think they probably accept either one. Okay, but never leave people as point um, at their final answer. In the middle of a question, it's fine, but never at the end. Okay, part, uh, that's part two. Part three, a web company charges Avril 80 euro per month to maintain and host the site. How much would Avril make um, or lose in month four and month 12? Okay, so let, let me do this over, well, I'll do month four down here and month 12 up here. So month four or M equals four. We wanna know how much she'll make. So basically I just need to know how many users. Users multiplied by how much each user will tell me how much money she makes. And then we need to take away 80 euro because that's her costs. So in month four, let's find out how many users she has. She has users four is equal to 3,000 multiplied by 1.8 to the power of four. And that is, that will come out as um, 31,492.8. Let's leave the point A because this is not our final answer. It's in the middle of a question. So it's fine, we don't need, if you adjust it, I don't think they'll mind too much. I'm not sure you'd lose marks, but let's leave it how it is. Um, that's how many users. So let's find out how much money she makes. We'll multiply this by 0 0.0012. We'll find out her, pr her profit or loss, let's see. Oh no, we'll find out her revenue, how much she makes. She'll make 37.79 euro. That's how much she makes, but remember, we still have to take away 80 euro. 
she's going to lose out 80 euro from her uh, hosting the website. So that will, if we take that away, it's actually going to be a loss, isn't it? It's going to be 42.41 euro. It's a loss. You need to tell them. I just write um, uh, maybe loss at the end of it would be enough or minus there would be fine. Let them know that you it's a minus number if she lost that much money. Write it in English, I would suggest. Okay, let's do it again. Let's see how she's getting on after month 12. Hopefully she's doing better. She's losing money at the moment. So month 12, we'll do the same thing. We'll do U12 is equal 3000 uh, multiplied by 1.8 to the power of four. I'll put it underneath here. And um, if we put this into a calculator, well, she has a lot more users. Let's see, she has 3 million. Um, 3,470,494.144. She's a lot of users. And remember, she makes money for each of these users. Yeah, let me write it under here. She makes money for each of these users. She makes 0 0.0012. Even though I'm writing like this, you do not have to do it by hand like you did in primary school. You can use a calculator and it will tell you that she makes 4,164.59. Much better than she was doing in month four. She makes 4,000 euro. But remember, she still needs to pay 80 euro a month. That hasn't changed. Although they'll probably increase our prices when the users increase. But they didn't tell us that in, the, in this question. So if we take this away, she actually makes, yeah, here it is here. 4,084.59. Nine euro. So that's a gain. Let's write in that gain. Profit, maybe we could write. So she's doing much better in our business. All right, I will uh, rub this out and we'll do part D. Part D is quite short, but still, I'll rub it out anyway. Okay, D was a relatively simple question, sort of an add on question. They just wanted one little more thing to ask you to make this question a bit bigger. So they told you that she found another web company. There's a bit of a story, it doesn't really matter the story too much but she found another web company that will charge 55 sterling. And she, she, she um, changed that into euro and found that that was 62 euro and 70 cent. So cheaper than she was paying the 80 euro. But they just want to know what was the exchange rate when she checked it. So this is how I like to do a money conversion like this, because it comes up all the time. Um, I like to put it something like this. Uh, We'll put the euro one side, doesn't matter which side, uh, 62.7, and we'll put that equal to pounds. Now these symbols are important because without them I would write 62.7 equals 55, which isn't true. But 62.7 does equal 55 when I have these units here. Now I can still, just like in any other thing in maths, I can multiply both sides by something if I want, or divide both sides by something. And remember, what I really want at the end is I really want one euro equals something in pounds. I want a number over here. So really, I just need this number to be smaller. So I will divide it. I will get, let me rub this out. I don't think I need that there, but that's, keep it in your mind. That's what I want at the end. What I will do is I will divide by 62.7. But if I did it to the left, well, I better do it to the right. Now, just to note, I didn't divide by 62.7 euro. I divided by the number 62.7. I divided by the number 62.7. Because it doesn't make sense, pound divided by euro. I just, it doesn't, well, it does make a little sense in some things, but not how I'm doing it. But I can do number divided by number, and that's just equal to one, which is exactly what I wanted, which is why I picked this number. I got exactly one. And on this side, I can just check with a calculator and see what it comes out as. Let me see, I have my notes here. It uh, comes out as, oh, no more equals. It comes out as pounds with 0 0.8772, four decimal places. So it comes out more decimal, rounded to the fourth decimal place. Okay, remember to check your answer. Does it make sense? Let's see, she had 62 euro, 55 pound. It's smaller, this number. So make sure that this, this number is smaller than this one. And make sure it makes sense, because lots of students do it the wrong way around. They find out like one is equal to 1.1 or something. 
you should know that doesn't make sense. You should check your answer and that little thing. There's no maths, you just check your answer with some common sense. Okay, so that's all of part nine. That's all of paper one, in fact. Um, I will be putting up paper two, so subscribe to the channel to get that. Um, but for this question, I guess, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll get back to you as best I can. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a good day.